Okay, we are back and talking about the characteristics of normal chromosomes. Let me pop that into a slideshow and get started. Chromosomes are actually large packages of DNA. You can see there are sister chromatids. The picture shows chromatids to form. So they're here. They're neatly coiled so that they don't get snarled in anything. They are held together at the center with this little ribbon called the centromere. Um, there are 46 pairs of these in each normal genome. And there I've said it more than once, or I will say it more than once on this slide. A chromosome with two chromatids is a chunk of DNA. It's been replicated and put back together. A major reason that the body packs this DNA into the shape of 46 chromosomes is to ensure that the DNA is precisely delivered to the next cell generation. Every single base pair has to be correct and in the right order. Otherwise, you could have an issue. Now, because there is so much genetic material, packaging it into 46 little bundles and protecting it with, I'll show you the telomeres in just a second, um, protects it from too many mistakes. Mistakes happen. We're going to talk about them too. Telomeres, and this is important for later, telomeric DNA acts as a chromosome cap that holds the DNA strands together, similar to um, if you look at your shoelace, it's a little plastic piece. There's an actual name for that, but enough with the rabbit holes. I'm not going that way. Um, the idea is it keeps it from unraveling and protects it from wear and tear at the point where it's most vulnerable. Telomere length is really important when we talk about cell aging. And one of the major um, genomic uh, areas of research right now, or areas of genomic research right now, is in telomere length. The longer your telomeres are, the younger you are at a cellular level. And the shorter those caps are, the older your cells are. So you are aging more rapidly on a cellular level if your telomeres are shorter. They have identified things. For example, exercise makes telomeres longer, prolongs the life of the cell, keeps, it from, keeps that genetic material from wear and tear. Um, <clears throat> Shorter telomere length, smokers have shorter telomere length. Um, and so there, the investigation is ongoing into what can lengthen your telomeres. There might be medications that really delay aging and the diseases associated with it. So telomeres can be important to you later on. Karyotyping is like a photograph that we take during a certain point in the cell cycle. Um, we can analyze the chromosomes. You get a very limited amount of information from this you get the number. And again, the magic number for the third time in this very brief video is 46. You should have 23 even pairs of chromosomes. The only ones that might be different are the sex chromosomes. You might have an XY where there's a little bit of an inequality. But so you organize them into pairs, then they're numbered according to features <clears throat> like the size and the position of the centromere. And because that all is very consistent across the human race, we can identify which numbers from one to, uh, from pair one to pair 23, we might find certain genetic information. Okay, here's a picture of chrome, uh, karyotype. So you have 46 chromosomes. We have an XY, we have a male here, karyotype. Um, that's the only pair that is uneven. And because we can classify them according to size and position of the centromere, we know that say on chromosome 11, we have genes for diabetes. That is the function of genomics. Okay, ploidy, that's a very funny sounding word. It is the actual number of chromosomes present in a single cell nucleus at mitosis. You have to have the right number. Oh, here it is again, four times in one short PowerPoint. You better know it. Humans have normally 46 chromosomes divided into 23 pairs. Some cells, spermatozoa and ovum, have haploid chromosome numbers. That is half of the number. So they have 23 chromosomes. They have one member of each pair. That's your sex cells. Diploid chromosomes 
have a complete set of both pairs of all chromosomes. Those are most of your somatic chromosomes. They're all through your body. Euploidy, anything with the prefix EU for you, euthyme is good mood. Euploidy is the right number of chromosomes are in the nucleus. And euploidy means the wrong number of chromosomes are in the nucleus. For example, we have trisomy 21, which means that you have 47 chromosomes and not 46. So that's ploidy. And that is the end of this video.